Hi. I realize it's been a little while, but I hope you're doing well and just thought that I would record a quick video to share a little bit about what's happening in my life and thinking that maybe we could catch up a bit. So it's been, I think late August was the last video that I made, or was it early August? Regardless, it was August. So it's been about five months since my last video. And the reason why I've been very absent from YouTube, really there are a lot of reasons towards this, but I started having a social life. I wasn't just staying home all the time. I was going through a transformation period at my work. So I was like interviewing and I got promoted for a higher position, obviously. <laughs> and it was like during a very, very busy quarter. Q4 was the busiest quarter for our company. So I was slammed with that. I had this huge learning curve and all these opportunities for me to learn the job. Um, it was just so busy. In that time, I also started hitting the gym instead of just the home gym that we have here. And though the home gym here has been really nice, getting into lifting, trying to like not be so intimidated by all the big buff bros at the gym. Um, it's just not the same as being in that environment where you feel kind of competitive, where that feeling like someone's watching you makes you want to do better. It's really easy for me to like want to quit, you know, or go easy on myself working out from home. So I started hitting the gym. All this is day, I started hitting the gym like four or five times a week. And then also during this time, I had some really personal stuff that I had to go through. So I went through a breakup within these past five months and part of a big reason why it was hard for me to come back to YouTube was because I started YouTube with that ex. And though he and I are on extremely good terms. He and I were friends before we even started dating. Um, it was kind of hard to pick something back up that you started with an ex, you know? Because this was like part of our envision that we were going to be YouTubers together. So, uh, you know, my healing process kind of involved me stepping away from this for a bit. I also had to deal with some really taxing family drama that I just could not get away from. Um, because I live with my family, so. <laughs> and then like within this time, I decided to step away from dating again. I did confirm with myself that Friends with Benefits is indeed not for me. <laughs> you would think that I made two whole videos on this, that I would know this by now, but I, you know, people change, situations change, and just, I thought because like, this made the most logical sense for me right now, I'm moving, I don't want to get tied to anyone anytime soon. I just, as soon as I'm intimate with someone, they got me. <laughs> it literally doesn't take me much. I think it probably has to do with the fact that I don't ever get out of the house anymore, but that's another topic. But on the plus side, I've been consistently going to therapy, not just about boy problems, which is Annoying for me to say out loud, to confess out loud, that that's the biggest reason and the only reason really that I was going to therapy for a bit is relationship issues, stuff with family, but this is not something that I should be like super embarrassed about because relationships are a big part of life. They can either make or break, you know, your livelihood. So um, I think it's okay for my life to re revolve around like some key relationships. You know, relationships have always been a thing for me. It's been a huge topic here on this channel and it's been nice to take a step back from it. To not put so much time and energy and effort and headspace towards thinking about this one person. It's been nice. And also on that same token, it's just like, what do I do with all this time and energy? I've been feeling um, a little restless. So because I've been taking a step back from everything, I also just... Okay, hold on, backtrack. I also realized that in the pandemic, I got into this huge like productivity mode that if something I was doing wasn't productive, wasn't geared towards the betterment of my future, 
I felt like it was a waste of time and it was hard for me to like even just sit down and like watch a movie or watch a show for me to it was hard for me to do that without feeling guilty I just consistently felt that like if I wasn't doing more than just work and working out in the reserves that I was just like not being a productive human being and wasn't doing much with my life and I wanted to take a step back also another reason why I took a step back from YouTube was to just pause on that unlearn that because you know life's not just all about working life is too short to just be all about working it should be about things that you enjoy simply because you enjoy doing them not because they are the stepping stone to the next big thing to the next goal though those are important you know it's all about balance i actually made a pros and cons list about coming back to youtube and though there were more cons than there were pros um my video stopped halfway so we're just gonna use the front-facing camera so that we know for sure that my iPhone's recording. So we don't have to do this a third time. But anyways, I feel like the biggest reason why I took a break from YouTube was that my mental health needed it and it was okay. I was trying to relearn, reprogram my brain from thinking that if I wasn't being overly super productive, that I wasn't like good enough. And it's perfectly okay to wanna watch anime all day and read comics like I have to be productive all the time and so now that I feel like I've had a good enough break I need to get back into it feeling a little restless so I need an outlet and I'm looking for YouTube to be one of them again but not as like frequently as it was back when I was making videos like once a week I feel like at that point I was just like pumping them out and it wasn't like the type of content that I really wanted to make. I was just trying to search with like, what would stick and what is popular, but you know what? I just want to make the videos that I want to make. So from here on out, you might see some, some reviews. You might see me talking about anime because I really like it. Um, and I know it's not like the original theme or like even related to what this channel is all about, but um, I like that stuff. And this is my channel, so I'm gonna do what I like. Obby. Okay, so some questions. Some questions. How long should we wait for Hunter Hunter to be finished before losing hope? I say abandon all hope now. <laughs> um, and actually, I want to lose. So the Hunter Hunter anime, like, the final episode was in 2014. It's been eight years. Almost eight years. It's time. It's time to move on. Sorry, friend. Make a video entirely of you making the turkey noise. So, uh, fun fact, I make really good turkey noises. <laughs> so in RTC, I was known for a couple things. Uh, my naps and my snacks. Um, like in my cupboard, literally the only thing that I had in there while some people had books was like a blanket and a bunch of snacks and um, my turkey noises. So me and my friends, we would just make really loud turkey noises to express our enthusiasm when we saw each other. So that, that was my thing, <laughs> that was our thing. And it, it sounded a little like this. <clears throat> you such a baddie teach me your ways sis oh you're so sweet <laughs> um i'm just gonna own it you know i'm a baddie because i am continually working on all the different facets of myself to be better than yesterday you know not just a professional physical sense but interpersonal which is like a big reason why i made this video or this channel so hopefully help you all do the same thing. <laughs> Good reaction videos, okay. I like totally recorded this earlier, but I guess we'll just keep on watching the same one. Otherwise it's like not a total like new reaction video because like I've already seen this stuff. 
What is with this fucking music? Like, this scene is epic. Go, oh, Joe. Zaddy. So you know you're a weeb when... Sorry, Zaddy's fighting. He needs my full attention. I feel like a lot of the people that like left comments or questions or requests for me to talk about don't really know anything about what my channel is about. But you know what? It's cool. Things that um, people request, these are people that find, and these are things that people find interesting. So I should just, uh... wow, this is a terrible quality video. <laughs> just like super lazy and I don't want to like get all the lighting out, you know, so this is just I <laughs> look crazy. Okay. What that mouth do? Things. Eats, talks, it snores, it grinds my teeth. It's a mouth of many talents. Besides videos, what is your goal of 2022? Um, I say as of right now, because I just, I didn't make any New Year's resolutions this year, and I don't think I'm going to do that. That'll be like a trend moving forward, just because I feel like it's really hard for you to know what you're going to want in 12 months. Um, obviously, there are some goals that'll stay the same, like for me, I'm still working on paying off my debt and moving out, but, um, you know, like, there are some goals that I didn't reach last year, like getting to three pull-ups, I can still... I still can't manage to do one, so still working on that, but you know, it's all, it's all, it's all G. It's all G. All this to say that things change, and so goals change, naturally. Um, but yeah, one of my goals, becoming debt free, buying a house, moving out. Starting a little, oh, oh. <laughs> starting a new life somewhere. Either it'd be Vegas or Austin, I think Austin obviously would be like, I think Austin would be, really it would qualify more as a new life because I lived in Vegas before, but um, as of right now, I'm leaning towards Austin. I think it would just be the smartest choice, but anyone out there knows or has opinions on those two, two cities, let me know. Ukulele, por favor. Someone wanted me to um, do more covers and they're like, this isn't really the focus of that channel. Let me know down below if Ukulele covers, piano covers would be something of interest to you. I always like recording them and posting them on Instagram. So if you wanted to see that type of, type of stuff, you could go see it there. It's just, it's just been a minute since I've been like doing my artistic outlet. So it'll take me a while to get back into that. But maybe I'll post them. Maybe I won't. I just found that like it was really limiting for me to just only post about emotional intelligence or psych stuff, which is a big reason why I kind of like renamed the channel and wanted to rebrand it. I think it'll be, it'll continue to evolve if I start or if I keep creating videos because it's just like, there are lots of different facets of me, you know, and like, you know, this psych relationship stuff that people have been finding beneficial is reason why people have been subscribing. My main goal isn't like to blow up anymore. It's just to like, just be a creative outlet. And if I end up making someone's day by making them smile or laugh, or feel like they're not alone. Um, that's a good day in my book. That's a good effort in my book. So this is probably going to be a pain to edit, but here it is. Hope it isn't too terrible quality and too bad to watch because it's like literally I was all over the place, but I feel like it's pretty reflective of how my life has been as of late. But anyways, I hope you're doing well and staying safe. I don't know why I said it like that, but um, <laughs> thank you if you've gotten this far and uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.